what we're about to tell you is out of this world, literally. The mission to turn us humans into a multiplanetary species has been going on for more than a century as of now. With rockets being launched nearly each day into space, humans have made major strides in their quest to colonize planets other than Earth. Now, with the preparation of a space hotel, the world has moved one step closer to turning humans into multiplanetary species. So if you've ever wanted to go to space, here's all we know about where you might be staying. Space tourism has advanced far beyond simply launching rockets into orbit. People who wish can now book a night in a space hotel and spend the night staring at the Milky Way, pinching themselves every so often in case they think they're dreaming. Imagine standing by a window in a room and just being able to see stars and the whole planet you and everyone else you know live on. What a glorious view! It's a dream that can be a reality. If the notion of a space hotel sounds good to you, mark your calendars for 2025. By this same time, Orbital Assembly, a company that works in designing and building space stations, plans to offer luxury accommodations up in space. You won't even need to be worried about getting a room at the top because, come on, it doesn't really get higher than this. Those of us planning grand post-pandemic holidays should start thinking about the final frontier as a vacation spot. With two space hotels up and coming, Voyager Station and the recently announced Pioneer Station, anyone's next getaway could take place dancing with the literal stars. Both luxury hotels would be suitable not only for interstellar travelers, but also for business, manufacturing and research. Orbital Assembly's first proposed space hotel, Voyager Station, was initially intended to hold 280 guests, but plans have since been updated to cater up to 400. The company has also recently discussed designs for a smaller station called Pioneer Station, which would house far fewer people, only 28 at a time, but could be up and running as early as 2025. Both stations end up making use of artificial gravity, which may be demonstrated simply by rotating water in a bucket. The space hotel would imitate gravity in the same way that one can spin a bucket in a circle while keeping the water inside. This allows for comfy rooms and glamorous bar experiences. The extent of artificial gravity would then vary based on the speed of rotation based on the Space Voyager website. Because of the underlying physics, both Voyager Station and Pioneer Station resemble huge floating wheels in so many ways. The docking hub in the center of Voyager Station will greet ships and also serve as the operation and control center. After that, elevators in spoke-like shafts transfer guests and employees to the primary hospitality area, which surrounds the structure like a tire does a wheel. Orbital Assembly's COO and architect Tim Alatore tells us that the artificial gravity feature influences the overall layout of the station, as well as the engineering of the concrete elements. As they generate artificial gravity through rotation, new structural scenarios emerge that are special to the space environment. While artificial gravity is essential for long-term space habitats, feeling the weightlessness of space is a big part of the fun for many visitors who travel so far. We all want that authentic space experience, don't we? As a result, the company is making plans to ensure that this opportunity is not missed. Altore explains that the Pioneer Station's interiors are designed to work in both zero and partial gravity. They are highly adaptive in order to meet the ends of the station's diverse tenants. There will also be an option for a zero-gravity experience on Voyager, and the layouts currently include plans for leisure activities such as basketball games, in which participants can swoop higher due to the environment's weightlessness. Maybe LeBron James will start to face competition in outer space. To add to the theme, the team intends to serve conventional space food, such as freeze-dried ice cream in the hotel's restaurant. In many ways, the Voyager station is unique. This hotel, in addition to claiming to be the first hotel in space, has distinctive architecture. The hotel's framework is expected to be distinguished by a 200-meter-long, colossal circular structure. The circular frame is designed to simulate Mars's artificial gravity level. The Voyager station includes everything needed to make guests as cozy as possible in a hotel. This hotel is essentially a resort, with facilities such as a restaurant, gym, bar, entertainment center, and relaxation areas. Hotel food is typically what is special to the area, so naturally, as we discussed earlier, on Voyager Station, visitors will dine on space food, which is simply food produced for astronauts in outer space. Given the lack of gravity, 
The change in taste and smell, and other factors, not all food is suitable for eating in space. Even so, over time, the hotel's food menu will be expanded to include the majority of foods available in hotels around the world. Ah, oh, to have a brick oven pizza among the stars is the dream. The company also intends to entertain guests, particularly by welcoming top artists from around the world to perform at the Space Hotel on a daily basis. Keeping this in mind, one may have to wait for the first singer to break through. Beyonce has already been mentioned by company executives when discussing the entertainment plan, and she may be the first one to arrive. Wow! If Beyonce goes up to space, all the single ladies will be having a grand time up there. Regardless of which entertainer arrives first, the idea is that guests should expect high-quality entertainment anytime they stay at the hotel. But building a space hotel is one thing, having access to it is a completely different thing. And this is something the company has taken into account. Another company is proposed to handle transit to the space hotel. The focus is on SpaceX Starship as the suggested company to handle this transportation, though this has not yet been made official. While the details are still being worked out, SpaceX Starships can provide invaluable assistance in making space tourism a reality. Although SpaceX's CEO has other space missions, Orbital Assembly Corporation has announced plans to collaborate with them in the coming years, and one can only hope the proposal is successful. For the time being, the space hotel is not commenting on its room rate, but when compared to other proposed public space missions, it will most likely be pretty expensive. Virgin Galactic, for example, intends to launch ordinary passengers into space for $450,000 a person per trip. That's half a million dollars, guys! It's not cheap! The team at Voyager and Pioneer Station, on the other hand, has already assured the general public that as space tourism becomes more common, they hope to make a stay at the hotel comparable to getting a cruise ticket. Those aren't cheap either, who are we kidding? But for space, it's probably worth it. Voyager Space, the global leader in space exploration, has chosen Hilton as the official hotel partner of Starlab, Voyager's planned free-flying commercial space station. In 2021, NASA awarded Voyager and its operating company NanoRacks $160 million in funding for the Starlab space station, which will replace the International Space Station and house the George Washington Carver Science Park a state-of-the-art lab and the very first science park in outer space. The groundbreaking collaboration builds on Hilton's prestigious 100-year history of global lodging and hospitality leadership, such as the development of the first central reservation system and the introduction of digital key technology. It also might lead to breakthroughs in sustainability and design efficiencies for future hotel owners in space, as well as on Earth. Voyager Space and Hilton will collaborate on the architecture and design of the Space Hospitality Crew headquarters aboard Starlab, which will include communal areas, hospitality suites, and sleeping arrangements for the astronauts. Furthermore, the companies will look into longer-term projects such as the Ground to Space Astronaut Experience, worldwide co-marketing and branding, and some other tourism, educational, and commercial pursuits. Orbital Assembly Corporation could be the first company to make space tourism a reality, even though the concept of a space hotel is still pretty much entirely a work in progress. The space hotel could become a thing of the future thanks to the company's experts, space professionals, and reasonable work in progress, but still many people believe the time is too short. But if this happens within our lifetime, it could be one of the greatest achievements for humanity yet. Maybe we'll get to meet some local aliens who decide to vacation at the same spot as well. <laughs> time will tell.